Are we rolling? Good morning, YouTube. It's another perfect day in God's country. Y'all ever notice I always start my video and then I groom myself? Yeah, I gotta be looking pretty for my video, right? I just ain't got time to fart around beforehand. I don't have no makeup department or nothing like that. But y'all can tell I'm already, I'm just naturally beautiful when I wake up. So I'm back at the property this morning. It's still sprinkling out a little bit, but I think maybe we're going to get somewhere. But uh, as you can see, she's coming around a little bit. Yesterday, I kind of finished up this wall. I got a bunch of trim I got to do and that sort of thing. See, my camera might be getting a little wet. It's sprinkling out a little bit. 40 degrees this morning. Burr. Luckily, I'm using Clark and Kenzie Tinwood. Hey, Kyle, what's happening? Hey, you want to be in a video? How you doing, Kyle? I, I'm, I usually make my video. I, I usually, yeah, see, this is me on video. I usually make a video every morning when I show up at my house. And, I'm busy uh, taking me for a walk. Yeah, yeah. Hey, this is my friend Kyle. I do got that right, right? This is about the fifth time we met. It is Kyle, right? Yep. Yeah, nice to meet you, Kyle. Uh, you can what see I just got here. Got Windows 10 or 11. I have no idea. I'm not very computer savvy. I just hit camera. It's got a built-in camera. And so I just Mine hit... Windows 10. Windows 10? That might be what I have. They keep wanting me to upgrade. Uh, does your dog like biscuits? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dog. What's the dog's name? Leela. Leela. Let's get Leela in the video. Here, all the kitty cats coming, too. Really hey, look, you look, you come. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, every morning when I show up, Kyle, I, take, I make a video and I put it on YouTube of the progress I'm making on the house. You know what I mean? Oh, and I show the new, that. yeah, I show the new paint and all that. But anyway, good to see you, buddy. I love this kitty cat. There's a little beautiful cat there. Yeah, I think this has got Windows 10. Yeah, it's never fun. When I have problems with my computer, I just give it to my wife, and she fixes it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. All right, Kyle, bundle up, man. It's getting cold. <laughs> you take her easy. Ah, that's one of my new friends, Kyle. He walks by every day when I'm working on the house. One of the things I love about what I do is all the wonderful people that I meet. You can tell Kyle there is all heart and soul. What a good fella. He walks a dog every day, so I get to talk to him for a few minutes. And uh, and talk to Kyle. I like talking to Kyle. His dog wouldn't even take a biscuit from me. How do you like that? What kind of dog won't take a dog biscuit? Oh, she must have took it. What did I do with it? Nope. See, I still got dog biscuits. That's all right. Ken will walk by later and he'll have his dog. She'll eat a biscuit. Anyway, folks, yeah. Oh, well, I'm trying to show you what I've been doing over here. Sorry, I get distracted. I love meeting people and talking to people, and I really like talking to Kyle there. That's a good fellow, right? We're all out here doing the best we can, y'all. Uh, there's that old shed. See, I got a little more cleared out over here so I could expose this tree. I'm going to get the chainsaw out, trim these trees up. As you guys can see, this property is going to be beautiful when I get it all trimmed. You can see that tree there needs a ton of trimming. It's just really a gorgeous lot. And uh, so anyway, I painted this side, the lower half. Now uh, y'all are going to say, wow, that's really sloppy and messy. Well, I'm... Uh, you know, time-wise, I don't have a lot of time because it's going to start snowing any day. And um, so I did this side here with a uh, with a roller. I tend to paint these old houses with a brush because I like to really lay the paint on thick. This old wood loves thick, thick paint. And when I use the brushes, I can get in every nook and cranny and get in the grooves on that T111 and all that. Well, I had to cover some ground, so I did this side yesterday with a roller, and it came out pretty good. But if you zoom in and start looking around, you'll see all that I didn't get close to all the trim work and stuff because I can't get very detailed with my roller, so I got to get the brush out 
and do all the details over here. And you see, you can also see on the upper part of the house. Hi, kitty cat. I just love this cat. It's so beautiful. If y'all are into cats. I like cats mostly that are outside. If you know what I'm saying. I like cats a lot, but not really in my house. But uh, I do have one. Comes in whenever he wants. He just comes to the door and knocks. We let him in. We feed him and he uses the litter box. But he stays outside more than he comes in. Uh, the top half of the house, if y'all are wondering what that is, they used to use shingles. Those are essentially shingles. It's the same type of thing, like an asphalt. And a long, long, long time ago, they used to use that as siding. And it has its, it's not bad. It would keep the moisture out for a while, but it has its flaws. Uh, water does breach it and end up behind those against the wall, and that's not good, as you guys can imagine. And now, if you're wondering about these holes, y'all get a little bit of an education here this morning. As I get closer, you see all the little round holes in the house? Well, we like those. We look for those because those little round holes mean that somebody along the way had blown in insulation blown into the walls in these old houses a lot of them have plaster walls on the interior of the house tons of work if you start messing with it so what they would do because these houses when they were built a lot of them were not insulated at all or the old timers that were building them crumpled up newspapers and put newspapers in the walls uh, because these houses had no plumbing they had no kitchens they were essentially built as um, bunk houses for the miners. And they all had, you can see the chimney, they all had a really good wood stove in them. And you just crank that wood stove up and you don't really need insulation in the walls. You can make it 100 degrees in the house with a wood stove if you want to, even when it's zero outside. So they didn't really need insulation. You just keep that big old, wood stove cranking and everybody stayed warm and they were pretty much only there to sleep they worked 12 14 16 hours in the mines they went to the bar ate drank came home slept got up did it again that was the mining life so uh you know the houses were adequate so somebody came along and put blown in insulation in the walls and the way for them to access the interior walls uh, the walls of the home without destroying the interior of your house is to punch a hole every foot, foot and a half, as you can see, and blow the insulation in between the two by fours. And it works really well. There's supposed to be plugs in all them holes, but over the years, they fall out or get taken out. And as you can see, all this damage here, that is from the woodpecker, probably the one I was trying to introduce you guys to later, who's beautiful and uh, don't worry. Well, look, at snowflakes just landed on my computer. It's snowing, folks. Good grief. It's snowing. Can you all see that? <laughs> that, yes, it's, uh, it's snowing. Um, yeah, so you know what they say about Michigan weather? Because a lot of people say, oh, I like Michigan, but the weather sucks. You just say, well, give it a minute. Um, because it's going to be different. Anyway, it was supposed to be a nice day and sunny, and I'm here to paint. And uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not, but I'm getting pummeled with snow. It's kind of a sleet snow. Uh, but, you, you know, there might be two feet on the ground here in an hour. It's hard to say. I told you I was 40 degrees, so evidently it's dropped a little. But, uh, well, hell, I'm getting snowed on. Uh, I was trying to tell you, oh, yeah, that's the woodpecker, see, because there's already little holes drilled into the um, the shingles there that are the siding on the top of the house. So the woodpecker takes the little plug out and then finds bugs that have moved in there because some of the old shingles, if you can see the gaps here, will eventually water will breach them and you get water behind them. And that's what makes them look like this. The water and the kind of wet, damp wood will attract some bugs. And then I've got one of the prettiest woodpeckers around that i ever seen. But he's tearing up these siding shingles. So not quite sure the solution yet. 
as to what my solution is going to be, but I'm likely going to have to do something to that. It's down the list further, meaning it might not be done before the snow flies. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> if I'm quiet enough, you guys might be able to hear the snow hitting the ground. That's literally snow. Well, I'll be dipped. It's snowing. Dang it, man. Uh, so anyway, let me give you, here's a section where other than the holes, this stuff is still intact. The uh, upper, you know, over here, there's a little bit of damage. But over here, see, that's what it would have looked like a uh, hundred years ago when they put that on. <laughs> if you can see that, that's that shingle siding. Now, it doesn't look nearly as bad when it's all intact, does it? It's actually, you know, workable. It's not the most attractive stuff in the world. Uh, that Then that next piece, that first piece on the roof, looks like it has all them rust stains on it. That's what's called flashing. And up here, it's pretty common to have that one foot or foot and a half piece of flashing there as the edge of your roof as opposed to shingles which allows the snow to basically slide right off instead of there getting jammed up and rotting your trim board there. Because we get so much snow, you'll see a lot of houses where the last foot on the roof is just a piece of metal and the snow and water can just dart right off of there. Uh, so that's pretty common. Uh, my buddy texted me this morning. He's coming to give me a quote on the, he's going to fix them two rows of uh, roofing there and dial that back in so that'll be looking good but uh just wanted to kind of show you there how that that old um shingle on the side of the house can actually look good now you see if i painted the upper trim underneath the flashing which i probably will and i'll paint the window frames all that white nice clean white you can see where that those old shingles can actually be made workable and i think i might have seen a stack of those in the 140 year old shed. So if there happens to be some of those around, six or eight or 10 of those laying around here, I may be able to replace the bad ones and get it all looking like this again. Not that that is my favorite kind of stuff. What I'd like to do is tongue and groove wood from, from the line up and make it beautiful, but that's expensive. And I don't anticipate pulling a large profit out of this house. So you want to salvage what you got. So I just kind of wanted to show you all that that stuff can look okay. And something needs to be done with the holes up top. As you can see, three of them are still plugged. A couple of the plugs are missing. But, uh, you know, the woodpeckers will get at it. The woodpecker, I bet it's just the one. He's got all these wonderful trees to get bugs out of him. He has to pick my house. But uh, he's got some really beautiful dead trees out there that are just full of woodpecker holes. I'm guessing he don't live too far away. Uh, and that's that one I was talking about yesterday. Just a gorgeous woodpecker. Looks like the snow's tapering off. <laughs> Can't believe it's snowing. Well, I guess I'll light this Marlboro and... Uh, I love that cat. It just follows me. You notice I show up and all kinds of activity. All the animals come running around. <laughs> this old kitty cat is just cute as can be. Yeah, be. She, it's like a toddler, I guess. Hey, she ain't full grown, but she's not just kitty kitty. Kitty cat. So she's it's like a toddler. Really cool cat. Got some heavy duty claws. Though. Loves to play. I'll go tickle its belly and then I get scratched up and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I think I was showing you guys this a little bit, but we'll get a little more into this. This is the um, collapsed building that's on the property as well. Uh, I own the whole inside of this. It's called Horseshoe Bend, and uh, it is just a horseshoe shape. And um, right across the street is a burned out house. That's kind of creepy, eh? But uh, it's cool because no one lives there. So that'll be knocked down someday and, you know, if not.